<laughs> How cool is it that EasyVix sponsors? <laughs> That's not the point of this video, by the way. It just is cool. You'd be surprised how that came about, by the way. Um, how is everybody tonight? I am really good. I wasn't expecting to do a live, but I'll be honest. I've had a boring day, a really boring day. So I figured, do a live, speak to you guys, see what you guys have been up to on Valentine's Day. I've had, like I said, a really boring day. <laughs> I've been out in the garden, digging stones, moving stones, playing with the digger, playing with the dumper truck. Yeah, try to come up with a thing to do a live about. So I'm gonna give away this disc tonight. I'm gonna ask you guys a question in a little while and give away this rotor clip round that I used in my most recent video. Um, I love this disc. I'm not giving it away because I don't like it. I'm giving it away because they sent me a few and I have this one so I figured give it to somebody who would enjoy having it on their mantelpiece or using it if you're a trimmer or a farmer or whatever. And these are pretty expensive. They're 200 quid, 200 pounds, which is about $250. So they're pretty expensive. And I'll give you guys some of these inserts as well. So yeah, it's a good prize, believe it or not. How is everybody? Shoveling snow, no Shannon. We don't have any snow here right now, I'm afraid. Hello in Slovenia, how are you? Oh, Leo, that was a nice thing to say. James, can you trim in Ireland? I can, but I don't. It's too far away from me, I'm afraid. Um, hello from across the ocean, says Monster Misfits. How are you? Uh, hi from Florida. Bet it's warmer in Florida than it is here right now. It was blowing a hoolie, as they say in Scotland. It was absolutely firing down this, the rain all day today. Horrible, horrible weather, but I'm inside in my nice new house and it's nice and warm. Um, hello from Baker's Farms, California. Hi there, you all right? Wow, wow to you as well, Blair. Wow, you're moving really quick. Uh, how do I slow down the chat? The fourth of snow here. Holy crap, excellent disc. It is an excellent disc, you're right. Hi from the Netherlands, hello. How did you, how is your heart hand? My heart hand's pretty good, look. It's kind of... Kind of pinky right now. Like, if I if I bang it, it um it bleeds quite a lot because the skin's so delicate. It's my own fault anyway, so no sympathy whatsoever. Uh, how do I slow down the chat? Oh, if I do that, ah, hello from California. I come from a cattle ranching family. Hello, Carice. Hope you're well. Um, ask me questions, guys. I will answer absolutely any question whatsoever. So think of your most random, strange question, and I will answer it, or at least endeavour to. Thanks, Irish. Irish farmer. I'm quite happy with it as well, to be fair. Uh, Stockton, California, tapping in. Hello, cards in the car. How long does it take Oh, how long does it take to train to be a hoof trimmer? Technically, it doesn't take any time at all, but it should. Um, it should be a rigorous training regime and schedule, and you should have to go away and do lots of tests and things. But technically, you don't need to train at all, which is a bit crazy, isn't it? Because you could really, really hurt cows. Um, took me... Well, I kind of trained with my stepfather for a while, who was a hoof trimmer for 27 years. And then I went away for a few weeks, came back, and then every year I still go away and do some training. So, really, you're kind of always learning. Um, technically, no time at all, which is wrong. They should change that. Um, can I help you one day, Lewis Shoes? I get asked that an awful lot, Lewis, and I wish more people could come and help me. But unfortunately, I don't think the cows or the farmers would appreciate it. What is my most crazy trim, says Bridget? Uh, I don't know, I've had a lot. Um, a lot of really crazy ones. Um, actually, one of the worst feet I've ever, ever trimmed is on the channel, but it's just the aftermath. It was a maggot-infested foot from a beef cow, which was horrendous. Right, I'm going to answer some of your questions quickly, and then I'm going to talk about some stuff. Will that disc work on my mother-in-law's hoofs? Yes, it probably will, but the crush probably wouldn't hold her if she's anything like my mother-in-law. Uh, what was your inspiration to trim cow's feet and make content on YouTube about it? My inspiration for trimming cow's feet was my father-in-law, my stepfather, sorry, and I'm a farmer's son. Um, the reason I do it on YouTube was to educate people, mostly my farmers and my customers, believe it or not, and it kind of morphed into a different thing following my life. So I just wanted to teach people a bit more. Um, we're creating an online course as well right now. It's a kind of introduction to hoof trimming. So if you want to register out your interest, you go to learnthehoofgp.com. Learnthehoofgp.com and you'll get a free lesson there. So that's quite good too. 
Uh, from sunny Wales, not. Never thought I'd spend my evenings watching cows' feet trimming. I never thought I'd be trimming cows' feet all day either, Sarah, so we're both in the same boat. Uh, how is Gracie, the brothers? Funnily enough, I have a little list here of things to talk about, and Gracie is one of them. Gracie is due to carve. She calves next month, so I think she's dried off. Dried off means that they are not milking her anymore because they are wanting all of the protein to go into the calf and they want her um, udder to bag up, as they say. In other words, kind of regenerate, give her a bit of a break, and it's a bit of a sore point for feet, so we need to have a look at her. Tomorrow, I'm at the farm that Gracie's from, so I'll give you an update tomorrow. I'll go and see her, especially just for you guys. So follow me on Instagram or Facebook stories or whatever you want, and there'll probably be updates about Gracie tomorrow. Thank you. Look at my milk cow's hoofs. Thank you. I look at my milk cow's hoofs differently now, and we work very hard keeping the ground clean. Keeping the ground clean is the most important thing uh, by a mile. Uh... Do you have a sister, says Ross. I have two sisters. I have one called Kirsty, or KP Nuts, and one called Susan. Craig, Craig from the videos, my helper, assistant, is my brother-in-law, and he is married to my younger sister, who is called Susan. Uh, hi, Mr. Who GP. I love the videos. Thanks, Yanis. I like them too. Would you consider getting a vet degree? I would absolutely love to get a vet degree, but I'm really, really old now, and it would take me too long um, to get there. Uh, Lucina. What is your favourite food? My favourite food, by a mile, if anybody knows me properly, is ice cream. I absolutely love ice cream. And then a few of the videos I go to the farm that actually makes my favourite ice cream. Uh, cream of Galloway ice cream, it's awesome. Uh, Isle of Skye Shepherd. Isle of Skye is a cool place, isn't it? Hello from the Isle of Skye, Scotland. Hello, Coolins. Um, hi, Grim Grimamaham. Oh, Susan, you're spelling my name wrong. Why did you switch from hoof tight to bovie bond? Uh, short answer was hoof tight oh, was good, but for some reason, a lot of trimmers did this. A lot of, for some reason, they started not producing as good a batch. The only reason I stopped using bovie bond in the very first place was their cartridges started to break. And the reason their cartridges broke was because the mold they used to use was pants, rubbish. And basically, they got a new mould, so they got new cartridges. So Bovi Bond now is one of the best, well, the best glue in my opinion, and comes in the best cartridge. So it was an obvious thing to do. And now they sponsor me as well. So thanks, Bovi Bond. Thanks, Vetech. It's just been taken. Slow chat. Huh. Uh, hello from Croatia. Croatia, Ivan, is an awesome place. I have been to the Dalmatian Riviera and the Dalmatian coast. It is a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Um, I know about that ice cream, says Deborah. Uh, did you decide on a colour for the new crush, says David W. Um, I didn't, uh, but I've got time yet. I'm thinking, what about red, white and blue? I mean, red, white and blue is cool. It's obviously the American flag, it's the UK flag. Uh, there are lots of good things, but then people will start thinking about football colours and things like that. Um, I'm not interested in sport that much. I love sp playing sport. But yeah, I'm thinking red, white, and blue right now. Somebody suggested black and yellow, which would be quite cool. It would be quite cool. Be never mind. Uh, oh, who was that? Who was that? Super chat. Oh, thanks for the super chat. How is he? Well, my Gracie question was answered as soon as I joined. Yay! So, any chance for cream of garlic going international? Um, I wish it would, but posting ice cream might create a few problems. Yeah. So Gracie is calving in March. Um, she's actually really old for a dairy cow. She's about eight years old, and most dairy cows are about five years old when they give up the ghost and go to the big parlour in the sky. So Gracie's doing really well, and she might actually be retiring. She was, she could have come to my house to stay, and that is on my little list of things to talk about. I told you guys that part of the reason we bought this house, this property here in South West Scotland, was because we wanted animals, and that was completely true, and we have agricultural sheds and we have the space for them and things but we don't have permission anymore to get animals we don't have a holding number so we can't get animals and actually that agricultural shed the roof has kind of given up a little bit so uh my dream car <laughs> um so yes we are not getting animals anymore but that means we can open some kind of facility for making things maybe I like making things, I like welding. Um, 
and maybe for teaching. So there are lots and lots and lots of different things we can do. Uh, the new crush. There were some negative comments on the last video about the new crush. I need to explain something. I would not have that new crush if it wasn't for YouTube. No chance whatsoever. But also, I need to make sure that I have a good and new crush all the time. So the reason I'm selling it is, it means I can give that crush at a cheaper price than a brand new one to somebody in the UK um, who is deserving it. It'll go to somebody who wants it, who'll make good use of it, and they'll get it for a much cheaper price than, than they would have done last year when it was new. Also, Apple Steel are doing me a bit of a deal, so yes, I'll have money to put into it, but I'll go and I'll spend that money to make sure that me and Craig have got the best of care all the time because I do appreciate what YouTube's done for me, and I wanna make sure that I continue to benefit from a brand new crush. So the plan actually is to get a new crush either every year or every 18 months um, and make modifications and changes and maybe even get a different kind of crush. You never know. More to come on that. Somebody asked what my favourite type of car is or my dream car. It's a P1. I'm a McLaren P1. I am a big petal head. I love cars. Uh, and actually, I'm maybe getting a new car this week. Is Aaron Lavoy? I, I, I like Aaron Lavoy. Also, did he congratulate you for the win in the challenge? He did congratulate me for the win, and then he made loads of excuses as to why he got beaten. But the fact is, he did get beaten. We won fair and square. But ours is a bit quicker to set up, so he shouldn't have challenged us to that. How much... Oh, how... Sorry, I'm going to have to slow your track down. You're going like... I was going to say a bad word there. You're going really quickly there. Uh, concurrent viewers, a thousand likes. Three, two, three. We're doing quite well. Uh, how much you care for all your animals is such a beautiful thing. Glad there are amazing people like yourself out there. Much love from North Dakota. Thanks very much, Levi Hoffman? Hoofman? Good second name. Looks like Hoofman. Um, I do care for the animals. I absolutely love the animals we work with and I want to do the absolute best possible for them. But there are lots and lots of people like me in the world. I'm not particularly special. Well, maybe in some ways, but no, not in that way. Uh, how can I get in touch about getting you booked in, David Nelson? <laughs> You're right, David. If that's a David Nelson, I think it is. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm afraid I'm fully booked though, David. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hi from Belleville, Ontario. I bet it's cold in Ontario right now. Uh, guys, come on. So little likes. Can we get 600 likes? Go! 600 likes. We're at 403 right now. Time it. Um, any tips on a cow with a cracked hoof? James1650, is it cracked vertically or is it cracked horizontally? If it's cracked vertically, make sure you remove the top part of that crack. That is the bit that's causing the problem, not the bit down the bottom. You have to remove the top part of the vertical fissure, if it's a vertical crack, and that will mean that when the new horn grows in, it'll grow in nice and smoothly. Right, um, so I'm trying to think what we could ask you guys in order to win this disc. And I do absolutely love this roto clip, especially because they've modified it specifically for me. Um, yeah, so basically they took this part off this disc and it means we can use the back of it much, much better. It's slightly more aggressive because they've taken a little bit off the edge here. So they really took into account the things I said in the video, which really wasn't expected or wanted or warranted well it was wanted i just didn't expect it um yeah i'm thinking of a question for you guys when you apply a block why do you preheat why do you preheat it with the torch it's to make sure it's completely dry just to make sure it's nice and warm and basically to make sure it has every chance of sticking really well am i from dumfries no magna i'm not from dumfries i'm from dumfries and galloway though uh charity uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Hello, how many knives and grinders do you get through per year? Great videos. Uh, thanks, Richard. I'm not sure how many I get through. Um, Knives-wise, I've probably got about 25 knives right now. I throw them away when they start to look like they might snap. I've just ordered another 10, actually. Uh, grinders, probably get through a gri one grinder every three months, probably been one. And we've got about four or five all the time. So, yeah, we we'll probably get through... Yeah, probably, probably break four or five a year. But we do wash them every day, so they get a hard life. Plus, they're getting lateral movement, aren't they? 
grinders are designed to cut this way, we're cutting this way, which means that they're, we're doing something they're not designed to do at all. Um, yeah, so, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will ask you a question, and whoever gets the closest to the question correct, um, I will send this disc to you. So last week, we trimmed five days. Uh, we trimmed at eight different farms. How many cows did we trim all together last week? So we trimmed at eight different farms over five days. Um, we weren't flat out, but we are always fairly busy. How many cows did we trim? I've written that answer down here, and whoever is first will get it, okay? So how many cows did we trim last week? Um, I've written the answer down here. The closest, um, or whoever gets it right first, will get this rotoclip clip sent out anywhere in the world, and I'll send you a bunch of blades as well. Uh, lots of answers coming in. No right ones yet. I tell you what, we'll, we'll um, if you, nobody gets it, I'll start giving you closer. Whoa, uh, I'm going slow, I'm going slow, I'm going slow, I'm going slow. You guys are guessing, whoa, lots of different answers, lots and lots of different answers. Uh, 400, 512, six, whoa, six. Uh, six cows at eight farms, that doesn't work. Um, <laughs> guys are going, I tell you what, nobody has got it first, you guys are giving me some serious comments right now, uh, oh, no, close, very, 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 very close, uh, a thousand, no, three, four, seven, that one's pretty close, two, eight, seven, two, eight, seven is close, but not in the actual amounts number, it is in the three hundreds, guys, uh, it is in the 300s. Has anybody got it yet? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to see. The <laughs> you guys are commenting too quick. Jeez. So it's in. No. Uh... The answer. Uh... Oh. Oh, nearly. Just it, no, Jonathan Lockhart, you're very, very close. Uh, 387, pop cod. Oh, no, no, sorry, pop cod. I can see actually Ava Haig, Ava Hogg. E-V-A-H-A-U-G, 387. That is how many we trimmed last week. We trimmed 387 cows last week. So, Eva or Ava, can you message me at thehoofgp.com? Sorry, thehoofgp at gmail.com and I will send you out this and you can probably use it as a mantelpiece ornament or sit next to your TV or turn it into a clock or whatever you want or donate it to a hoof trimmer. But 387 is exactly how many we trimmed last week. So the new crush, the new crush has been ordered. Um, I actually haven't made the deposit, but I have ordered it. And basically we are gonna get as much stainless steel in the new crush as possible. You guys are still throwing millions of numbers at me. Yep, everybody's saying 387 now. <laughs> Ava Hogg, Hogg, Hogg? I can't actually say your name, I'm really sorry, Ava. Um, yeah, so, ask me more questions. I am on here for the next five or 10 minutes. Oh, we've got lots of likes now. Concurrent viewers, 1,028. Chat revenue. Oh, you guys have been sending me super chats and I probably haven't said that. I'm sorry if you if if somebody did um, get the right number. Sometimes people will send me the, they'll send me messages after these lives saying I got the right number first. Um, I'm really sorry if I missed your right number. There were lots of messages coming in, but Ava was the first person I saw, and I'm pretty sure she was first. I might be wrong though. Merch. Somebody just asked about merch. So merchandise, merch, channel merch. Hoof GP clothing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's been a big kind of um, sore point for us. We weren't sure what to do. We weren't sure how to go about it. Uh, we thought she would just stop it. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. $140, what? Colt Nelson, why did you just send me a huge super chat? Don't waste your money, 
Well, no, it's nice. I'm going to buy some of that. Hey, brother, keep up the good work. From Alaska, the last frontier. Glad the YouTube algorithm got me to Hoof GP. You're welcome, Colt. Thanks very much indeed. That's really kind of you, man. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, so the merch. We What we're going to do is we are going to relaunch the merch, but we're going to do it slightly differently from everybody else. So we are going to launch the merch for one day and for one day only. We're going to launch the merch on the 1st of March. It's going to run for 24 hours and that will be it. There will be unlimited amount of everything that is on there and then we will post it out worldwide about eight days after that. So the merch will go live on the 1st of March coming up. It'll go live at midnight uh, GMT, which is like... I'm not sure what time that is over you guys, but basically central time is five hours minus GMT here. So it'll go live at like, what's that? 7 p.m. on uh, central standard time in the States. So 1st of March, we will have merch, but it's only going to be there for one day so that it's nice and easy for us to manage. Is Tom going to buy your old crush, Madam 007? The funny thing is, Madam 007, um, he's not going to buy it uh, because it would be better for somebody who's a hoof trimmer I want, I'm not going to sell it for a ridiculous price I just want like a good price that's a lot cheaper than any other f like new crush or whatever like that but I want it to go to somebody who will make really good use of it and appreciate it so Tom it's because it's mobile it would be no use for him well I say no use he'd love it obviously but lots of other people would probably get more um, use from it uh, shout out to Keystone Rescue in Lisbon hey Keystone Rescue KH Drones, can you not do it on the 3rd of March? That's when I get paid. I'm really sorry. I'll do it on the 1st of March, um, but I'll do it as, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I can't read Spanish. Um, do you have a favourite cow? Uh, Charlies are my favourite type of cow, and that's because I grew up on a beef farm. Obviously, my dad died when I was 15, and I have really, really fond memories of working on the farm and we had Charlie's. Um, my favorite one of all time was a bull called Junior and I got to I got to name him. So I love Charlie cattle, which is a French breed. It's a beef breed, a big white beef breed. Um, why did YouTube recommend your channel to me? Uh, I'm sorry, Red Scott. Um, I'm gonna slow your chat down so I can answer your questions again. Uh, I love your videos so, so much. Thanks very much, Dan's Farm Life. Sounds like you've got a YouTube channel as well, Dan's Farm Life. I'm sure I'll like your videos, I'll check it out after this. Uh, how often do you get a cow in the crush? I have to say, this is a case, a case for the Knackerman. The Knackerman is a British um, terminology for the dead stock person. So where there are livestock, there is dead stock as well. Not often at all, um, luckily. We can do something with pretty much every cow that comes in. It, not saying that it never happens, but very, very, very very few times it's rare uh, hi from Norway have you ever been hurt by a cow William Anthon you haven't watched all my videos have you I've had broken noses broken ribs burst veins broken wrists yep um, yeah so yeah I've been hurt by cows lots and lots and lots but you have to understand a cow's gonna hurt you you're doing something they don't want you to do um, they have a hugely hugely massively overwhelming um, instinct to be with the herd so if you take them away from the rest of the cows all they want to do is get back there and they're scared of what you're going to do um, so basically yes I've been hurt by cows lots and lots can you show me the scar on your hand I'm afraid there's not much of a scar on my hand um, I've got lots of scars I don't know if the webcam will pick that up but I've got scars all over me that one there's quite a good one can you see that that looks like I tried to end myself, but I didn't. Um, I've got scars down here, all around here, a big scar across my forehead. My chin was ripped from here to here. Believe it or not, the reason I've got a beard is I have a huge bite mark here. Um, believe it or not, it's a human bite mark. That is a long story. Um, Anna Pallardi, love the content you produce. Entertaining, soothing and educational. Thanks very much, that's good. I like that comment, thanks very much indeed. Um, is stopping bleeding from the hoof after trimming with a hot... Ooh, 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 ooh. What was that? Is Lee McKinstry, is stopping bleeding from the hoof after trimming with a hot iron a good thing, Lee? 
Lee, no, it's not. Um, the reason it's not, not aside from the fact that it's obviously going to hurt the animal a lot. Think about it. We dehorn cattle, so all over the world, a lot of cow breeds are born with horns. I'm telling this for the the the, the layman amongst us. So when you dehorn a cow, basically. Horn on the head is the same as horn on the hoof. It's drier, so it's harder. But apart from that, it's the same. When we dehorn an animal, we cauterize it using a dehorning iron. In other words, we burn the the horn bud, and that stops the growth of the horn. So if we did the exact same thing to the cow's foot, in other words, cauterize it and burn into the corium, what's going to happen? the horn production is going to stop. So sealing, bleeding or anything like that with something hot like a, a cauterizing iron or a hoof or a, sorry, a dehorning iron will basically end up in a part of the foot that will not produce hoof horn anymore. So no, don't cauterize feet. Uh, you have to make a video to tell a story of your human bite, <laughs> says Samantha. It's a long time ago now, actually. I was, I think it was 22, 23, so, but no, no, I must have been about 25 or 26. Has a bull ever kicked your ass for trimming his cow? No, uh, luckily not. Sometimes they do get very territorial though, um, because obviously the testosterone that emanates from me, um, the bulls feel threatened. <laughs> They, d they don't. That is a long story. I bet you it involves whiskey. It doesn't involve whiskey. I don't like whiskey. Ooh. Uh, I shouldn't admit to that being Scottish, should I? Whoa, some long questions. I used to live in Corsic, in which I miss. I actually drove through Corsic yesterday. Uh, Graham Johnson, will the wild cattle at Chilliam Castle, at Castle get trimmed? Yes, they do. And I know that because I know the person who trims the wild cattle at Chillingham Castle. Uh, how much is the new crush and what are the new features? My cows seem to be very uncomfortable in my crush. They make extreme movements, banging heads around, etc. How does your cows stay so calm? So, um, the cows in the H in the the cows in the Appletons stay really calm because it's nice and tight and it constricts. And we've got a thing called a shuttle. Uh, so basically, the back of the crush pulls up tight to the bum or the arse or the rump of the cow and because they're nice and tight it actually makes cows really calm down. Um, I've talked about Temple Grandin before in my videos, she is awesome, go and look her up. Temple Grandin, she's uh, a lady who has um, mild to severe autism and basically she actually gets in a squeeze crush and it makes her feel calm uh, and really really relaxes her and because our crush is essentially a squeeze crush. It calms the cows down massively. I'm also going to fit it with Easy Fix Rubber soon so that they're more comfortable on their feet when they're standing in the crush. So, um, yeah, that's a big part of it because it squeezes up. Uh, love the videos, especially the beautiful, beautiful scenic shots. What are the plans long term for yourself and Craig and the business? Uh, well, I'm thinking. Thinking, 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 I might take somebody else on pretty soon. Our workload is colossal. Um, if you have been watching this live for a little while, somebody has been, um, David Nelson asked when he could book me in and we are completely fully booked, unfortunately. So I might take somebody else on, might end up keeping the crush, but we've got, um, there are lots and lots of different things. The online hoof trimming course, the, the, or the introduction, introductory hoof trimming course is coming up that should be getting released really soon and that should bring lots and lots of good knowledge to lots of people and be a fantastic way to get into hoof trimming or at least introduce people to hoof trimming um, so yeah um, the online course is coming up the new crush is coming and maybe employing somebody soon to help with lots of different things uh, <laughs> Sorry, Mona Bale, are cows autistic then? No, I don't think cows are autistic. Have you ever caught your hand on the grinder? Yes, I have. Uh, it's actually a bit of a funny story. I'll tell it, I'll tell it. So I smashed my face up in a mountain bike crash. And um, you guys, a lot of you guys will know about it. Basically, I had 80 stitches in my face. So fast forward a couple of weeks, I was back at work and a cow kicked the grinder out of my hand because somebody spoke to me and I turned around the grinder landed on my hand here and removed all of the skin and muscle from this part right down to the bone. And because I was so infuriated that I had three days off, I think, because of the mountain bike crash, I just uh, duct taped her up, sprayed some blue spray on it and got back to work. Much to the farmhand's dismay, he wanted me to go home, but no chance. We were uh, well behind because of the mountain bike crash. 
Uh, what do you think of Tom's new foot bath, says James1650. He phoned me the day he got that, actually. That, that new foot bath is fantastic. Um, it's really, really, really good. I will say one negative thing about it. It's really expensive to run. So they cost about £7,000, which is roughly $8,000. And then on a monthly basis, they do use quite a lot of product, and that product is expensive. But if you want your cow's feet to be in perfect condition, yes, it is fantastic. You're welcome. No waste. One out of ten. One out of ten of the... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the new Defender? Actually, Adam, Adam McKinley is asking what I think of the new Land Rover Defender. I looked at one. So so we've got a Jaguar F-Pace SVR, which is kind of GP type thing. My wife's shouting that we don't have one. She has one, which is correct. Uh, my new car comes this week. <laughs> um, yeah, the new Defender. I think it's great, actually. Uh, the only thing is, it's really expensive. So taking that to work, I don't know if that's going to work. Have you seen my pickup? It's like a looks like a crisp packet. It's all bashed and smashed up. It's yeah, it's not good. Uh, right, some more questions. What do you think of the potential of a tunnel going from Stranraer to Northern Ireland and all the traffic past your beautiful location? Well, we have a so this person is asking. Paul is asking about the proposition that they are going to tunnel from Northern Ireland to Scotland in the future. Uh, I think it would be good. It would probably be bad for the ferry ports because obviously they would lose jobs. The roads through our region are incredibly busy. Well, there's one road that's incredibly busy, so it wouldn't really affect me, to be honest. How long does it take for a cow's horn to grow back if you have ground it down to near the corium, says John Goldman. So, Hoof horn grows at roughly six to seven millimetres per month, so the, the foot should be around five millimetres thick on the sole, so it should take just under a month if you ground it back to the corium. We're actually revisiting a cow from last week uh, tomorrow, which we did take all the way back to the corium because she had a severe infection, so tune in on Tuesday night and you'll see exactly how fast hoof horn can grow back. Are you making a new video on the new crush and when? When I get it, I will. Uh, Beyond the Ridge, what type of metal are the grinder blades made from? So this one is aluminium, uh, which is good and bad. Aluminium is nice and lightweight. It obviously doesn't rust. Uh, it's, yeah, it's good. It's an accurate material, but they do eventually flex, distort, go out of shape. They do wear quite heavily. The other ones, my trim tech ones, are made out of titanium. So they are really, really lightweight, but they are very expensive. Um, so yeah, titanium and aluminium. The Hoof GP one is made out of aluminium. Uh, autism and ferreting. How do I get in touch with you? You just did. You can message me on Facebook or you can message me on Instagram, guys. If you ever want to ask anything directly, head straight across to Facebook or Instagram and you can ask me anything you like there. I do try to get back to people, but I get quite a lot of messages. Do you ever trim horn on the cow's head? Says Mr. Captain 93. No, I don't. I would absolutely love to give it a go, but no, I don't. I have got some old uh, horns that have been dehorned from cows and I've had a little go. And they trim really, really similarly to a cow's foot, like the outer wall horn. So there's a, a difference between outer wall horn and sole horn. Basically, sole horn has these things called tubules, um, about, I can't remember how many per millimeter, but wall horn has three or four times the amount of tubules. So wall horn is much, much harder because they have so many more tubules, these little tubes that kind of bind all the keratin together. So that's what, what horn on your head's made from. Not your head, but cow's heads. Can I ring you about a cow's hoof? says James1650. Um, I'm afraid not, but you can send me messages and I can answer any questions. Why not get Craig his license to work the old crush while you work the new one? Because then I'd have to get all the cows in, Andy, and I'd have to make the coffee myself. <sighs> I've offered, actually, to put Craig through his license, and he is not keen. Question, says Aaron Mifsud. Mifsud? Do you ever watch other hoof videos and would you ever consider doing a review of other people's hoof jobs on YouTube? So, I've kind of done this before, Aaron. I asked people to send me their videos and send me their pictures of their hoof trimming and then I reviewed them in one of my videos. A lot of people thought I was really harsh and cruel, 
but I just tried to be as constructive as possible. And the people who sent me their hoof trimming videos, most of them were really good actually, uh, and they really appreciated it. But I wouldn't review anybody on YouTube's hoof trimming videos because I know they wouldn't appreciate it. However, if they sent me them and said review these, then yeah, obviously I would. But I wouldn't do it just off my own back because I don't want to annoy people. Uh, how would you remove a big growth or strawberry from a cow's foot? That is in between the claws. So that big growth you're talking about, Johnny, is called a granuloma, a tyloma, or a hyperplasia. And my answer is, I wouldn't actually remove it. Um, I would recommend sometimes that a vet would remove it. And what they would do is they would use a scalpel. They would then cauterize the tissue in between and they would heavily wrap it. But I personally can't do that. It would be illegal. Um, but sometimes it is necessary to phone a vet because it's the best thing to do. What I do is I really, really dish out the axial walls. So the wall on the inside of both claws, I'll really give it a wide model and it gives the tyloma, so the growth, a kind of squish zone. So if you can imagine the tyloma's going down here, it needs a squish zone. And by modeling out the feet like this, it can squish into this area much better. Ah, have you ever reported a farmer for bad health, says Matthew Butt? No, I haven't. What I have done, unfortunately, is um, I did go to a farm once that was terrible went back two weeks later and then the guy said he would phone me in about six months time to come and do some more and I had to explain to him he either got me every couple of weeks to get over the problem that he had or he would have to phone somebody else um, and unfortunately he phoned me a year later and hadn't had anybody in so I refused to go and got somebody else to go um, because people can't just I'm not in the habit of just fixing problems. I'm there to make all of the cows as comfortable as possible. And the way to do that um, is by attending them regularly. Um, there's a good question. What do you think of Aaron Lavoie? Uh, I'll see you next Tuesday, Aaron. <laughs> Midwestern hoof trimmer. What do you think of Aaron Lavoie? I think he's awesome. He knows he's awesome. Hurry up and get rid of uh, COVID so that Aaron and his family can come over here. Hi Hoof GP, can you give me a shout out? I just did Carrot Cactus, good name. Uh, how is Gracie? Mark D, you must just have joined us. Gracie is due to calve, she is doing really well and I am at her farm tomorrow. So I'll update you on Instagram and Facebook then. However much we love watching Hoof Trimming, we couldn't watch anyone else do it as it would feel like cheating, <laughs> says Cars and Kids. <laughs> That's nice, that is nice. Uh, do, does it ever get too cold to work? No, it doesn't ever get too cold to work. Here in Scotland, it only drops down to sort of minus or negative five degrees C, which I think is like 10 Fahrenheit or something. So no, it doesn't really get that um, that bad. Uh, Mary Lady, do you like vegans? Um, I like them, but probably couldn't eat a whole one. <laughs> I have no problem with vegans whatsoever. It's a life choice. Uh, hello, hello Karen, hi, how are you? Do you like, how do you like hoof trimming? How do you think I like it, Alex? <laughs> Your favorite farm, my favorite farm? Uh, my favorite farm, <sighs> I can't actually say which one my favorite farm is because then all the rest of my customers wouldn't like it. But I definitely do have a favorite farm and if uh, Craig's watching this or that farmer is watching this, they'll know exactly which one it is. Uh, What's your worst work-related injury? Uh, a burst vein in my arm. That was really sore. Uh, it's like, oh, can we get more videos of the dogs? Do you want to see Steve right now? Steve. Steve! Where's Steve, Ashley? What? Where? Steve, come on, boy. Come on, Mia. Oh. So here is Stevie Boy. He is beautiful. He's getting a bit fat though. And he won't cuddle you. That is Steve. Come here, Mia. And this is Mia. Mia will cuddle you. She'll sit in here and cuddle you all day. Uh, what the hell are you guys saying? Where do you live? I live in Southwest Scotland, Cesar. Um, hello, such a great fan. Thank you very much, Nately Argueta. Free ice cream farm. Yeah, that probably is my favourite. 
It's not actually that one. <laughs> Although I do like it because I get free ice cream. What disco do you recommend for trimming cows on a grass-based system? What disc, I think you mean, David? Um, something non-aggressive, so probably something like a closed disc trim tech. That would be really good because it won't take too much off. And yeah, closed a closed disc trim tech titan. Mia. What does your tattoo say? It says, he who wanders is not always lost. That's because I've had 32 different houses. Uh, I'm going to put Mia down because she's right in my face. Good girl. Oh. Right, guys, I'm going to round this up pretty quickly. I'm not sure how long I've been on, but it feels like I've been on a little while. Uh, hi, one question, says Ricardo Ramirez. Do you need to do something with a hard horn after a cow to recover, or does the horn become softer with time? The horn, it depends on the environment. I get asked this question quite a bit. Do cows' feet become softer or harder over time? So if the climate is dry, they become harder because the moisture evaporates and is drawn out of the hoof horn. If the environment is wet, it draws in the moisture and the hoof horn becomes softer. You want a middle point. Uh, hi, do you have a P.O. box? I'm afraid I don't, Heather. Uh, can you do an American accent? Says Fuerto someone. I really can't do an American accent. I'm kind of trying right now, but it's probably not working very well. Yeah, I'll just go back to Scottish. Um, by the way, Aaron was talking about how I toned down my accent. It's funny, a lot of people in my uh, comments will say that they can't understand me because I'm speaking in a strong Scottish accent, but they don't realise that my accent is really toned down. Uh, I should probably do some Scottish videos, shouldn't I, where I, where I speak in a much more localised accent. Um, why have you had 22 different uh, 32 different houses, says Oliver. I was hiding from the police, Oliver. Yep, yep, that's why. No, I used to run restaurants and bars and usually you get a house with the job. Uh, how old are your boys? One is five, one is seven, and I have a daughter called Maddie who is 16. How scary is that? Uh, have you ever trimmed a sheep's hoof, says Owen Jones. Yes, I have when I was much younger, um, but it's not recommended to trim sheep's feet that often, believe it or not. You're actually better to leave them as they are. Uh, the farming crack work, the farming Craig worked for is your favourite. Uh, Craig has never worked at any specific farm. Well, apart from with me. Uh, how much are how much are for trimming? Ten pounds a cow, roughly. So about twelve or thirteen dollars. Your accent is so watered down. It is. It's really. Alright boys, how's it going? <laughs> uh, do you know the Tyrell... Tyrell Grey? I'm not sure what that is. Have you ever tried trimming a sheep's hoof? Just answered that. You looked at the Defender, the Ibex built in the UK. Yes, I've looked at it, but didn't like it. Uh, when do you do a tour in Holland? I would absolutely love to. So we did plan on kind of touring. I say we, Mrs. Hoof GP wasn't that keen. I wanted to tour around um, Europe this year, no, last year, and do some trimming. So hopefully that'll happen at some point. I would love to travel around, take a couple of weeks with the kids, see some different um, areas in Europe and take the apple and steel along for the ride and do some trimming, see the cities. I would love to. Um, and when Covid passes, maybe we will. It would be an awesome holiday. What was that? Apparently I would need to buy a clean pickup though. Which football club do you support? None, I'm afraid, Mohammed. Sorry. Why do the cows at the dairies have diarrhea? They don't. Um, so Sharon is talking about when cows have really loose stools or loose slurry. A lot of it is because they have really, really rich um, diets. So here some of the cows graze outside. If they graze in outside, the grass is really rich and then it goes straight through them. So it looks like diarrhea. Um, any news on some more merch, says Darren. Yep, there is. I was talking about it earlier on. We are going to launch or relaunch the merch on the 1st of March for one day. So the 1st of March, it will go live at midnight, which um, is about 7 p.m. Central Standard Time in the US. And basically, it will be live for 24 hours. And yeah, buy as much as you want, buy as little as you want. Don't buy any. Buy loads. Whatever you want, um, we're going to run it for 24 hours and stop it, and we're going to get it all posted out. What is my new car? Says I think it was Gabrielle. I am getting. 
I've not paused really. I'm getting uh, a C63S. I'm not sure if you'll know what that is, but a C63S is what I'm getting. Um, what did she buy you for Valentine's Day? I'll show you. She bought me Toblerone, dark Toblerone, which says my name on it. <sighs> Look at that. I think it's in reverse though, isn't it? Ooh. It does say Graham though, I can assure you. Right guys, two minutes and I am going to go. How are you coping with the job as of COVID? COVID is not affecting our job in the slightest little bit, um, thankfully, because it is deemed as essential. Obviously we're looking after can uh, can animals, animals welfare, so it is an essential job. So it's not affected it in the slightest bit. I don't wear a mask in the videos, by the way, guys, because I'm exempt because I can't breathe through my nose and I have a pretty severe asthma. Uh, why do you use a torch when applying a block? Just to make sure it's dry and nice and warm and cures properly. Does the cow feel the heat? No, it doesn't release his vids at all. There's a video where I put my fingers inside a cow's hoof horn and then heat it up for about three minutes and I can't feel even one degree of difference. Are you rich? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, did, did you see the sheep games video? So the, uh, somebody's asking if I saw the sheep games video uh, where he was pretending to be the hoof TP. The sheep game is a guy called Cami Wilson here in Scotland who has an awesome YouTube channel, The Sheep Game. Go and check it out after this. He does some awesome videos uh, and he was pretending to be me in one of the videos. Yes, I did. Uh, I've spoken to Cami a couple of times. He's up. Great guy. Awesome hair as well. Best hair ever. Best hair on YouTube, actually. What did you get for your, your wife for Valentine's Day? Um, I, I'm trying to think. I got her some pyjamas. I got her some silk pyjamas and I got her a big box of roses, which, believe it or not, lasts for a year. Bit strange, but yeah. How far away is Kami from you? As the crow flies, Kami from the sheep game is about... 45 miles, but by car it's about 60 miles, so about an hour and a half. Not not that far at all. Uh, yep, yeah, go and check it out, the sheep game. In your accent, what's that say? Ooh. Sorry, I am reading. Happy Valentine's Day, you beautiful man. Can you give us a shout out to my wife, Zeke, or Zeke, Zeke. Um, hi, Zeke. Zeki, sorry for mispronouncing that. Hello, hope you're well. In your thickest Scottish accent, can you please scream Scotland freedom? FREEDOM! That's William Wallace, isn't it? Uh, can... Ooh. Right, I am going to tie this up because I have been talking for absolutely ages. Guys, thank you very, very, very much for tuning in. I've been talking an awful lot. Um, yeah, you've probably got bored by now. So I am gonna head off, go and check me out on Instagram, go on Facebook, I try to post as often as I can on there. And uh, pineapple on pizza, yes, definitely Ross, you're right. Pineapple is a must on pizza. Yep, go and check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I post on the stories quite a lot there. And you guys can probably catch up with Cow812 tomorrow if I see her hanging about. Uh, the C63 will struggle to tow the crash. <laughs> It'll have the power, maybe not the suspension. Um, thank you very, very much for tuning in, guys. Uh, check out the description. Go and check out easyfix.com if you want to make your cows more comfortable. And click on the link in the description to see that. Guys, I will see you very, very soon because there will be a new video up in two days' time where we check out the cow where I had to remove the whole of her soul uh, about 10 days ago. So we'll see how fast hoof horn really can regrow. Right, thanks very much, guys. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Oh. Was that all right? What was that? Oh, sure, I am. <laughs>